Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Legendary Difficulty uh, of this beautiful game. We are at another storyline mission, Seeking the Firebird, which I think is in a new mission, the third or fourth one. Our operatives have been tasked to investigate what happened with the individual who recovered the Firebird initiative files. Unfortunately, settlement where uh, this individual lived appears to have been destroyed some time ago. With some luck, we might be able to retrieve a journal um, and could further shed light on the mystery. I am not sure whom we're fighting against, but I am quite sure that we have a good team in place. And the reason how I know that is because uh, we got the prime crew uh, ready and able and willing to uh, kill JP Pauly, my dude. You really do have an encumbrance problem. Now that that is loaded up, I would simply say you're getting rid of these and your encumbrance problem will go away. One more here and one more here and you should be good. Enough ammunition, enough everything, a-okay. You need a second turret at some point, but uh, that'll come later. The VVA arms, by the way, that's exactly what I would want to have. New Jericho Mech Arms. Super good. Okay. Cool. Uh, I'm still waiting for the augmentation of his legs. Currently 25 armor. If we augment, we would go down to 20 armor. That's still uh, plentiful. But the Rocket Leap will be the more important uh, piece. Yeah, that will be the more uh, the more important piece. Okay, cool. So let's deploy. And we landed. Well, we immediately answer the question: whom we're fighting against? It is Pedorans. To be honest, I wasn't expecting anything else. Inappropriate Murphy. <laughs> Frenzy is everyone. For the first time, it's him and not someone else. Trial moves up, free aim. Lots of the legs, but nothing else. I want to see who does, uh, who except Grell does have armor penetration that's one of the things that i believe that this team could use a bit more armor penetration all right drinks moves forward Now, before we're going to do something stupid here. Well, actually moves forward. Takes Onslaught um, and... There we go, minus 30 armor. <clears throat> Drenks positions himself, uh, himself well. Inappropriate Murphy. Mm. 
moves up Remove some of uh, the armor Is this your ranged attacker? No, melee only We can place the turret next turn, no problem. Good, moving over here. Quick aim from Dilly G. We're at it. Let's continue the quick game. Drones moves up. Spots out a few other enemies. Positions himself in full cover. Should have realm jumps into cover. Could hit him, both of them actually. Yeah, why not? Fortunately, couldn't get the um, the artillery down right away. Good. Let's see what we're dealing with. Good. Very calm so far. I want to hit the artillery. Couple more shots and it should be down. Oh wow. Well that overwatch worked well.
Okay, well. I would say moderate amount of damage that we took. Nothing ground shaking. Okay, so we could mind control any of the worms. Dilly has how many? Only four will points because what? What is wrong with them all? Head has exploded. Well, that's unfortunate because it means the rapid clearance that I wanted to do is not possible. Hmm. Three of them are paralyzed, which is good. Worms are being taken care of for now. We need more willpower. I think the way to do that is by killing this guy. All right, everybody got a will, po uh, will point from it. Fantastic. Which means now We can adrenaline rush. Oh, come on. Why can't you free aim like a decent human being? Oh, I see. Okay, well, we got a snake over there. Which might become a problem. We'll come to that in a second. Um, no melee weapon. Uh, we do have... turret uh, that we can place somewhere and a remote steering no no I picked it up oh, well, stupid me still need to get used to all of the symbols Not 
Good, we're lowering the shield. Onslaught. Two shots. Um, tell you what, the poison worms really need to stop. Good, because that costs a lot of tempo and we don't have that much time. up can't really hit anyone I mean I could mind control one of these guys sure Pinsa needs to go. Carpe is quite heavy. Let's use the head. Okay, thankfully we have these PDW weapons, they are quite helpful. Move up here, get our shield up. Overwatch. And oil overwatches. If he just runs off of the map, I'm okay with it. There's no point in chasing. Interesting how he completely ignores uh, the dummy. And she comes in with a mind control. Shadow Realm moves up. Move 
moving up with the Bocherones to here. To then continue to go over here. JP Pauly begins to heal. Luckily that uh, Benji didn't want to focus on us potentially because there wasn't enough space but maybe we were just lucky who knows. We were mind controlled, so never mind. Uh, do we have? Yeah, we have other means to subdue this guy. Let's do end of turn for now. Billy moves up here. Bleeds a little bit. Number one, that. And number two. Repairs body parts, which is helpful. Running over. In the meantime, let's frenzy everyone. begins to move over to apply shots with his gun. Did he follows him? Um, from a melee standpoint, who does have... Oh, it's the ranks. All right. So this guy just straight out vanished. So now the next question is where do I find these things? Must be some oh up here, okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it would be cool to uh, to catch that guy. Not the end of the world, but it didn't work out. I'm more concerned that um, my plan with um, with uh, the decoy didn't really work out. That sucked. Could have just used. Uh, war screen uh, war scream instead is just so much more effective than the decoy it feels the decoy is decent the journal seems to suggest that the research was recovered by the phoenix project i assume that you are unaware of this presumably due to the near collapse your organization suffered after the severe cutbacks of the early 21st century Apparently, the surviving research was stored at a Phoenix base designated Storage Facility 4. Not a terribly inventive name. To complicate matters, before the collapse, the local government sold Storage Facility 4 to Abaddon Tusk, one of the billionaires that resulted from the old political system's malfunctioning distribution of resources, who turned it into a shelter for his company. Eccentric and possibly sociopathic to begin with, he has been driven to new extremes, styling himself Pirate King and leading violent raids on defenseless havens. I calculate a 98% chance of armed conflict resolution. Okay. Good. So that actually worked out surprisingly well. Pirate King that he talked about is in South America. So we cleared out that piece. We're driving the storyline a little bit further forward. And I believe the next thing that we wanted to do is uh, fight the ancients. We had an Oracalco mine up here. So that's our next slot. Really the main focus for the Prime team now should be to always go uh, for these mines. Uh, we wanted to augment him with proper legs so that he's faster. Now that also concludes the uh, the prime uh, the prime team um, we're getting a couple of poison worms not really great but look I mean if you harvest all of uh, them together it's also a decent amount I think I'll just harvest the smaller ones we can always recapture them Sirens are accounting for a lot of mutagen. I like that. Good. So Helios would move there. And Manticore 1 follows in pursuit. We have a lot of Pandoran structures, which now need proper resolution. Mandico 3 is still on the way to kind of recover. Once that happens, we can take on a structure. Mandico 4, the newly formed team that we've just equipped, will start a couple of easier missions here. And Tiamat destroys another structure. Okay, cool. Proof born in the USA is fully healed and rested. Well, that's good. 
Uh, we're going to start that mission in a second. Yeah, New Jericho, that, that will give us uh, the tech that we need. Unbelievable, so many missions. It's, that Helios, it feels like an, an eternity that we started uh, producing it. But it is one defense after the other than all of the Pandor uh, Pandorian uh, hosts that you need to uh, kill. Then on top of uh, each of the mines that you need to free up. And then there are storyline missions. I'm not sure if the game is paced that well, guys. Uh, maybe it's just, it, it feels like a long war version. I don't know what I got myself into. Maybe I'm doing something massively wrong by taking on all of the missions left, right, center. But um, it feels like that's the efficient way to do. If you think uh, that there is a better strategy or maybe I'm missing something, then leave a comment uh, down below and let me know about that. But in the meantime, it uh, looks like we need to do the next mission. And uh, in between then, uh, now and then, uh, there will be two days. And I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode. See you very much uh, later and have a good day. Bye bye.